Yes, coach. Okay, to kick things off with these high pull things, um, obviously focusing on just trying to keep the traps relaxed and just have the lats on. Um, not much really to say on these. Like when, whenever I did get the reps wrong and I did pull with my traps, I was aware of when it happened. Um, and when I got it right, I was aware of when I got it right. I did notice, so obviously, as I'm going day and I'm sort of like, I am almost like internally rotating my shoulders and shrugging up a bit, but I'm not sure if that's just because of my hands trying to fit between my legs, maybe. But the were as relaxed as possibly could be. Okay, so these were interesting today. Um, so I did all the warm-up sets up until 100 with no sleeves on. I noticed I was having the same discomfort and pain in my knees as I did last week. Um, so once I got to 100, I thought I'd just match last week's um, weight and just see if we can do it any better. Uh, the first set, what you've seen just there, was the worst. It got better every set, so the first one I was very much like leaning over. And I, th I think after the second set, I started to actually try and sit in a little bit better. Uh, the sleeves did help with the knee discomfort. Uh, something else had changed as well, actually, I don't even know, but the bench is much lower. So I was using the 20 inch boxes at the front of the gym, which had my hip crease above my knee. These benches literally have it parallel, which is sort of cool because parallel. As a, like, I'm aware that parallels are to my weak point. I think this is the set. These are the sets there where it actually starts to get a lot better. And you'll see me not have to hinge over as much. Then looking at the feet, like I don't feel I'm making the most of the dorsiflexion. Like my knees are actually still going, my toes now looking at the tango. Okay, forever these snaps of plates are just the bane of my life. Um, really just try to focus on sort of like the jabbing the lats back sort of cue you gave me yesterday. Um, if it looks a bit weird around the knee, I think it's literally just because I scraped some skin off my you know, the little bony nod we have on top of the shin bone below the knee. I think like it's just sore from having the bar right over it from yesterday. Uh, so as the weights go up, it, like, it may look a bit awkward around the knee. So I ended up doing like the first one as a power and then the next two as a full. Um, I think it was because, in fact, yeah, when I was on the bar, I think my right knee just caught it in a funny way and it felt a bit janky, but that was, I think that's just residual discomfort from the uh, pause box squats. But it got better the more I snatched.
So something I think I became aware of nearing the end of the set was um, if I was starting with my hips too low, like I think I, I do need to just bring the hips up and bring the knees back a little bit, but keep like the same tension I have elsewhere. In regards to like the lats and that, I am fucking awful at muscles, as you can tell I'm wearing new. I think like just naturally I have like a very very soft knee bend rather than keeping the knees extended during them. Yeah, so for example, I reckon that one there was behind the bar at the start. Um, which is probably why visually it's, uh, the bars happen to come forward, or it looks like it's coming forward. So I get my lats tight. So that one there was obviously going to go over this is that. Following the theme on from Sundar, I've got the old Cameroonian Mandingo foot position where it's still reasonably narrow, I've just got a little bit more toed out and just on the knees as much as I could. And then later on, I, I did consider whether I wasn't doing the knee, I've got no better way to scrub it with like the knee scoop thing enough, like I wasn't exaggerating it enough. Um, you'll see on the last two snatches I do where I have it from the side, I basically just want to hand scooping it up. So in terms of like sensation, it's in contact with my shin right until underneath the knee where it hits that bone nodule. I think it catches and that's a little bit sore, so my lats like loose and tiny when I move slow around that position. Once it gets past my knee, I'd squeeze my lats even harder so it came back in contact with my legs and then I was just trying to like push my knees forward. Throw my shoulders back until I've got close to obviously there's a pause there because it's a pause at the thigh. But I'll try and get myself as close to my power position as possible and it was only once I was like a couple of inches away from like here the shakes with traps and a little pull back with everything. Like I did try and cue myself to pull back with my lats but obviously traps and arms would get involved a bit but I suppose because it's so late in the pull I could go over it, I don't know what your thoughts are on that. coming up with the snatches where I just wanted to check a few things. So this one actually, my hips were super low and it sort of remember I was behind the bar, which is what I went to know the first one. I remember that one actually when I caught it, it felt like it was going to go all the way behind my head. And this one I just had my hips a little bit higher. I'm not sure what you think of that start position there. I'm just trying to get exaggerated, scooping the 